you must have noticed an intriguing pattern emerging in contemporary society. Since the late 2010s, when political correctness first arose online, events have happened that were previously inconceivable. It seemed unlawful to bring up the red pill in any way, but obviously, times have changed. Consider Andrew Tate and how rapidly he achieved popularity. Undoubtedly, there are many men out there who support and value the message. Such a big fan base does not appear out of anything. The only way to do that is to draw on the backing of an established cause or idea, and you can see for yourself that red pills are already numbering in the millions. The world has transformed. The red pill movement has gained traction as the internet has expanded and more and more guys are adopting its principles. Having already taken the red pill, you are aware that this was inescapable. But for all the young guys out there, let me explain why the red pill movement has been so effective on a global scale. Here are seven reasons the red pill has gained global popularity and is steadily growing as we speak. Number one, it has grown with the rise of the internet. The red pill used to only be accessible in mysterious parts of the internet because it was primarily a Western movement. Men from all over the world are increasingly exposed to the internet as a result of its increased use. They have, in my opinion, significantly aided the red pill campaign. In the 2000s, only affluent non-Westerners could afford computers and phones. Men are increasingly rising from various backgrounds and sectors across the globe. These individuals are from the bottom and are familiar with the principles of the cause. Since they weren't born rich and fortunate, they identify and relate to this cause in many ways. Add to that the reality that people in the third world are more accepting of our message than people in the West when it comes to feminism. But even if we ignore this element, the effectiveness of the red pill's message will always remain the main driver of its expansion. Number two, men from all over the world relate to it. It is an ideology with solid foundations in the real world. It is all grounded in experience and a better understanding of human nature and evolutionary biology. In contrast to modern political groups, it addresses concerns such as transgender persons. From a socio-cultural perspective, the red pill seems to be the only logical result of the development of men and women. It is not trying to lead humanity in a way that is beyond our comprehension. A place where nature doesn't prevail. This could explain why the world has become more and more feminine and female-centric. Any support campaigns or pop culture movements that come to mind are always dominated by women as leaders. Number three, it's because men all over the world lack solid male mentors. Take into account the fact that reading books, playing video games, and watching TV are not activities that are often associated with men. Although there is nothing wrong with performing them, men didn't do them when they had spare time in the past. Men are renowned for their spirit of exploration and capacity for teamwork. They take pride in accomplishment and skill. Today's society is missing these crucial elements. Because of the absence of these elements, mentors are nearly non-existent today. Real males are no longer present anywhere. In the past, streets and cities were filled with men much like these. One of these knowledgeable people was presumably your grandfather, so their advice made sense. There are no such mentors anywhere to be found in the schools. We have academics, therapists, and physical education instructors who lean left but are unable to complete a mile on their own. Except for studying and reading books all day, there are very few possibilities for personal growth, little encouragement to adopt behaviors that make men happy, and little support for young men to learn something to help with the transition from boy to man. However, mentoring doesn't stop with young men. Number four, men need direction and confidence to embrace masculinity. Many older men lack direction in life. Some men end up trapped in bad relationships. Then there are the military personnel who married into their life savings. Living in a dilapidated apartment, they are wondering why their lives are the way they are. The red pill serves as the focal point for each of these men. In the 21st century, it acts as the perfect conduit and mentor for men. The men who have learned the truth are members of the RP community, which likewise seeks to instill in young men an appreciation for their masculinity while educating them about the law and women's true nature. Every young man secretly wants that, but they don't know how. He's heard it everywhere, 
traditional masculine characteristics are poisonous and should not be embraced in modern society. He wants a place to express his anger and embrace his intimacy, though, deep inside. He learns how to do that from the red pill. It will help him break out of his rut and encourage him to focus on bettering himself rather than spending all day daydreaming about women. He will discover the actual essence of women once he has completed all of that. We don't want to frighten him or make him hate women. We want him to understand that regardless of what women say, this is how they will behave in reality. They will treat you in this way in reality. She will assess you according to this. If you want to have successful relationships with women, you need to understand what they genuinely want in order to avoid becoming one of those men who was burned by a woman. Number 5. It helps men build and maintain their existing relationships. The red pill assists men in committed relationships and taking charge of the situation and embracing their masculine side. In a way, we are helping men reach their full potential by demonstrating to them what they are capable of. That is our immediate goal. The second item is to let them know about the laws governing divorce, rape, harassment, and prison sentences. Every man needs to be aware of these things in order to avoid giving in to them until he has a large following. Today's justice system is incredibly biased. Women's opinions are more respected than men. A woman only needs to accuse a man of something he didn't do or say anything negative about him in order to ruin his life and career. In one sweeping move, she will take away both his financial situation and his heart, leaving him with nothing. These are actual situations that have happened to real men. We want to let boys know that they may also experience this. You should thus exercise caution until we gain a significant following and secure a popular mandate. Number 6. It helps men realize truths about life they wouldn't have otherwise known. We also need to inform males about the realities of this life. We want to educate guys about the realities of life and the flaws in contemporary society. Twitter today simply seizes any chance to mainstream everything. In the midst of this madness, it's difficult to determine what is even normal. You can rely on the red pill to lead you in the right direction, after all. Things are out of the ordinary and are therefore for a reason. There was a reason why the degeneracy on the internet was vilified. However, it's crucial that you understand, even if society as a whole won't. You and every other young man who wants to improve the quality of his life and honor his forefathers. Number 7. It gives men a reason to take responsibility. One of the reasons the red pill philosophy has gained global prominence is that it has opened the eyes of young men all around the world to realities they had never heard of, possibilities would have never heard of, and opportunities that they only got to find out after realizing the true nature of men and women and how society changes and shapes its narrative across the world. It gives men a stronger meaning to pursue something in their lives. It gives them the responsibility to not take it for granted, and especially, not take themselves for granted like they used to. The red pill basically made guys around the world realize that they have value, and that value can only be enhanced and nourished by believing in themselves, and not believing in the way women treat men around the world. It has helped them realize that life and reality for men are not what women say and what they show on TV. It has made them value their masculinity and attune them toward their own nature as protectors, survivors, thrivers, and builders. It has made men value being men. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.